Hi, my name is Suzanne Fountain, and I am a featured woman in the June 2024 issue of the Bold Maven magazine. A little bit about what Elite Human Resources Consulting Company does is provide consulting service to small to mid-sized companies who have limited or no HR departments and would like to utilize my services as an extension of their organization. This is something that's passionate to me that have been honing in on my experience and my skills for several years now and probably more than I want to admit to, but it's a great opportunity for me to exercise my knowledge in human resources. What schools did you attend? I attended Sacred Heart University in uh, Fairfield, Connecticut, and also I attended University of Bridgeport for my master's degree in human resources and consulting. When did you know that this was something you wanted to do? I started my career in a boutique uh, firm that specialized in recruiting for IT professionals, and I started off as a receptionist and found it kind of fascinating from the perspective of interviewing candidates and getting them the right match to organizations. But I wanted to learn more, a little bit more about HR. So I continued my studies in psychology and I went on to become an HR assistant where it was more of a generalist role, meaning I did a multitude of different aspects of HR. And that got me really passionate about wanting to do more and in helping individuals and servicing organizations from a human resources perspective. And from there, it just continued on. Can you take us through the journey to starting your own business? Starting my own business was uh, a, a little bit of a challenging journey in the beginning. I started back in 2018 uh, organizing my um, company's name and getting it registered. And then I didn't do anything with it. Um, just kind of let it lay dormant for several years. And I particularly was working at an organization that I didn't feel was prospering my development of where I wanted to go. And so, but I couldn't leave, right? I was stuck to that corporate financial mindset that you, you know, depend on a check every two weeks. And I never wanted to be put in that position again where I had to depend on someone else for my financial freedom. And so I remember that I started this company five years ago, Elite Human Resources Consulting, and um, met with a really good friend. And she poured into me one night and said, it's time. And that's when I knew it was time for me to advance in what I started five years ago. What do you consider to be some of your biggest accomplishments so far? Uh, two Accomplishments that stand out to me the most is when I made it to the C-suite. That is um, an area that is far reaching for many women, especially black women. So for me to reach that status was um, an accomplishment for me. But I think one accomplishment to me that means more is my mentorship to other women and not getting to this spot and never looking back and helping those behind me. I've mentored many women over the last several years and seeing them flourish and become C-suite members, um, that makes me feel very proud that I've done something well in my career. What has your experience been as a black woman in your industry? Uh, again, the, my experience uh, has been challenging. Um, getting to a C-suite as a black woman has been a challenge. Um, often overlooked, um, often questioned my ability and my knowledge, um, having to oversell what I know I already know. Um, so it's been a challenge, but at the same time, it's been rewarding. It's afforded me opportunities to travel, opportunities to hone in on my skills, and again, helping others. It, it's helped me to do that as well. Um, so the challenges were worth it, um, but at times you feel like they weren't fair, but um, I wouldn't trade my journey for anything. What memories keep you motivated? Memories that keep me motivated. Um, when people told me I couldn't do something, um, I thrive off that type of feedback more than anything because I want to prove myself and to myself that I can do it and I want to prove them wrong. So I remember times where I was told, oh, you'll never, you'll never make it to a senior VP or you'll never make it to the head of um, 
HR for an organization, you should stick to X, Y, Z. And I pushed and pushed and it was my motivation to excel further. It was my motivation to show my children that you can do anything you want to do and not to listen to the outside distractions. Um, those are the ones that you need to listen to to motivate you, but not to keep you down to where you don't excel and you don't try. Outside of work, what brings you enjoyment? Outside of work, I enjoy travel. Um, I enjoy reading. Um, I probably read about three to four books a month. Um, some of my listen to us, I do cheat a little bit. I do listen as opposed to reading, but um, multitasking, um, I can read a book or listen to a book while I'm working out or you know, you know cleaning the house or doing whatever. Um, but travel is also something that I enjoy and uh, spending time with my children. Um, they bring me joy. They keep me young. What advice would you give a younger you? You are enough. I would give myself that advice um, that you are enough and you can do and be anything you want to. Um, I think there were times when I was younger that I, I didn't believe that and I probably shrunk myself a little bit in situations where I felt that I wasn't enough to be in a certain space. Um, I would also tell my younger self to be okay to take up space, that that is something that you should look forward to doing is taking up space and not shrinking in spaces. Is there anyone that you would like to shout out? I would like to shout out um, my children. They're my legacy. There's, they're the reason I am working so hard to get elite human resources consulting off the ground and to a flourishing business, to leave them with something, whether they get involved or just to show them that you can do for yourself and work for yourself. You don't have to work for others, that your skills are what you should pour into to make yourself more developed and not organizations. Do you have any current or future endeavors that you can share with our audience? Uh, future endeavors, um, I'd like to, again, continue with more mentorship and also providing more tips for organizations. So working on some newsletters and other items to help give back and give advice and support to others. Last question. How can our audience reach you? You can reach me at um, my website, which is EliteHRConsultingLLC.com. Also on social media at Elite Human Resources LLC. To continue this conversation, you can read my story on TheBoldMaven.com. Make sure to subscribe to the Bold Maven newsletter to gain access to the digital magazine.